Welcome to the world premiere of Quarkin. Today we're going to take you on a walkthrough of the all new Quarkin 27 T-Top and we're really excited about it. This is a brand new product which has been designed and manufactured here in Finland and it really represents the best in Nordic design, style and quality. This range also has an open version which has the same features, functionalities and solutions as the T-Top version you see here today. It really makes the perfect companion out on the water, but don't take my word for it. Let's go and take a look around so you can check it out for yourself. So here she is. A lot of work has been put into the development of the hull and it really is one of the finest designs in its field. Countless CFD analyses, VR sessions, computer simulations and practical tests in different conditions have been carried out to extensively study the hydrodynamics, performance, handling and efficiency of this boat. The boat has a sharp entry bow design here, which makes things really streamlined and it's in keeping with the rest of the design. Also, we have this flare design underneath, which improves stability, reduces splashing and makes things easier for you dockside. The boat has a twin stepped hull to minimise water resistance and it also offers excellent sea keeping characteristics and fuel efficiency. Thanks to this design, it makes for a really smooth ride whatever the weather. So if you're feeling brave and want to take her out in those harsher weather conditions, the hull has been designed to reduce slamming and spray at higher speeds, which should also keep you a little bit drier. This boat can reach top speeds of around 44 nautical miles it's 8.35 meters long and 2.59 meters width, which means it fits nicely onto a trailer. She weighs in at 2,500 kilograms, that's including the engine, and the cruise speed fuel consumption is 1.4 liters per nautical mile, which is pretty good going for a boat of this size. Now that's what I call an engine. Our Quarken 27 models always come with this fabulous Yamaha F300 outboard engine. They come in white, just like this one, and the engine installation always comes with digital electric steering, steering by wire and keyless entry. Anti-theft and electric power steering also come as standard with this boat and engine package. Fitted to the swim deck, we have a telescopic bathing ladder which folds out like so. It has four stainless steel steps climbing up to the swim deck and as you climb up, you can use this sturdy water ski arch as a solid handrail as well. Up here on the aft deck we have two large bathing platforms and we've made it really easy to move from one platform to the other by this wide aisle in the middle. On the end of this platform you can also install a windlass if you wish. Below your feet the deck has an anti-skid finish but you can also get the smart deck decking like we have on this model and it makes it really soft and comfortable when you're walking around barefoot in the summer sun. Now's a good chance to point out some of the extra features up here on the aft deck. In front of me we have a transom shower it's great for rinsing off after you've had a swim. We have a hand bilge pump here. We do have an automatic bilge pump installed, but if you need the hand pump, it's right here. We have six cleats on the boat, steel cleats, two at the back, two in the midsection, and two on the bow. And if you like some deck lighting, there are two LED lights on either side. In the aft cockpit, there's plenty of space, and that's true for the whole boat, actually. The utilization of space on the Quarken 27 T-Top is really impressive. There are also two social areas on this boat, very large social areas. You've got one here where I'm standing and one up on the bow as well. Before we get into that, let's look a little bit closer at the storage and seating options down here on the aft deck. Here is the aft mid bench that I'm sitting on right here. So you can choose to sit either facing forward or facing backwards on the other side. It also links up with the side bench and creates a, a large L-shaped sofa as well. The L-shaped sofa has a removable backrest we can take off and move to the front. I think it's time to put my feet up for a little while. I'll take a cup of tea when you're ready. Underneath all this seating, there's plenty of storage space. A couple of features we have. You don't need to move any of the cushions. They can stay where they are. And you don't need to hold them up yourself because they stay up on their own. Underneath the side bench, you've got this long storage area. If you're a water skier or you've got some fishing equipment, it's a perfect place for that. And then underneath the aft mid-deck bench, we've got a designated space for your fenders in here. And we're going to move to the other side. On this side, you can find your table, which will be tucked in the inside here. 
You've also got some space in the top for the table legs of different sizes and you can find the electricity switchboard in here too. If you want to get into the side bench, you can also access from, from here. As mentioned, a table is available for the aft cockpit. By swiveling the offshore seats around, you can create quite a large dining area here. The table does extend if you want it a little bit bigger as well. Underneath, you have a steel footrest for some added comfort. And my favorite feature, if you run out of beer, there is a fridge down the bottom here. It's not just for beer, of course, but it's a 30 litre fridge underneath your seat. You may have noticed underneath the bench that we had some small table legs too. So we've attached them to the table here and actually turns into a base for a large sunbed. So we can pull this movable rest on top of the table. We can add the extra cushion at the end and it gives you a really large, spacious sun lounging area. And this is where you usually find me actually. You can access the tank space by lifting the large deck hatch here. You can also lift the deck hatch in front of it if you want to. All of the tanks are located in one module, so if you need to take them out, you can lift the whole module as one. There's a 300 litre fuel tank in there, there's a 40 litre septic tank, and there's a 30 litre tank for a diesel heater too. Just before we move back to the bow, just a couple of extra things here. So there's that hand septic pump in front of you here. You've got some speakers, one on this side and one just behind the pilot. And you also have some wastewater disposal on the rails here. On the other rail, you also have some refill caps as well. With safety in mind, we've got this wide port side walkway. There's some LED lights along the bottom for the nighttime. And there's a steel handrail here for your safety as well. As you enter the bow, you've got yet another large social area. So you've got one down the bottom. And while your guests are chatting away, if you need some peace and quiet, you can come up here and just take in the views. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the bow. So in front of me here, we've got the anchor locker, plenty of storage space in here. It's optional if you want to put a bow ladder on the front and there's also space here for a windlass. If we turn behind me, we've got space for a large sofa. Um, there's optional cushions available as well. And if we lift up the middle cushion, it provides access to the cabin hatch as well. You can lift the cabin up to get inside, or if you just want some extra light, you can leave the cushion off like that. There's also two cleats on the front, as previously mentioned, and some speakers down here as well. Now you can see the bow area with the table up as well, so there's plenty of room for dining here. The table, just like before, actually sits on a little ledge down here and turns into a sunbed as well. Just another good example of how adaptable these spaces really are. It's the small conveniences that make a big difference, especially when you're sat at the helm and you've got lots to think about. So let me show you some of the design features. Firstly, you can exit and enter on the driver's side to save you squeezing past all your guests in the middle there. We've got two offshore seats. They have a swivel function and also they're adjustable in length for your comfort. Down here we have a stainless steel footrest and there's also one in front for the pilot. And the steering position is really ergonomic, really comfortable and it means that you can sit down if you want to drive sitting down and you can also stand up. Plenty of space for all shapes and sizes. Let's take a closer look at the console itself. One thing to keep in mind is you don't have to reach over the dashboard for anything. Everything is within touching distance. So let me take you through some of the features here. On the bottom right corner you've got your trim tabs and just above it you've got your Hellmaster here. Here you've got your electronic throttle and in the middle you've got this adjustable steering very ergonomic and comfortable. In front of you, you've got two 12-inch Garmin chart plotters, and in the middle, there's a five-inch LCD multifunctional screen. Just underneath that, you've got your Yamaha Autopilot. And to the left-hand side here, you've got your bow thruster. Underneath, you have your control panel with all your lighting, and just underneath that, there's an audio system here by Fusion. The audio system is also accessible from the walkway, so any guests that want to change the channel can do that without bothering the pilot. You've got your integrated compass at the top, and there's, there's a few extras here as well. There's a little storage space down at the pilot side uh, with a USB port as well. And you've got your wireless charging in the middle, where my phone is at the moment, and a backlit coffee cup holder. The upholstery material throughout this boat is Silvertex, 
The cushions are standard, come in grey or cream, but if you go for the premium package, you can have a two-tone light grey and dark grey. There's nothing worse than having to squeeze into a cabin, but you don't have to worry about that here. The entrance to the Ford cabin is really spacious and really wide. The width of the door is 58 centimetres across. And if I step down here, you can see that the edge has been pushed right back to make it easier for taller people to step in, like me. The interior of the Ford cabin has been designed with a Scandinavian style. It's very bright, very airy, very natural looking, and it's got lots of high quality materials in here. If we take a look at the bed first, the bed is 205 centimetres long, and that shoulder width here, we're talking 140 centimetres, so you should get a really good night's sleep. There's also the option of hull windows, if you like it a little bit lighter inside the cabin. The Ford cabin has been fitted with a tap and basin. You've got an electronic toilet down here, Really good ventilation here, so you've got your ventilation valve behind me and also a window to the side which opens. You've got three different types of lighting in the cabin. So you've got a reading light over to the side, you've got some ambient lighting on the sides of the bed and your ceiling lights as well. If you want an optional heater, the heating control panel will be in here on the side of the bed and also the heating blowouts um, will be located just underneath the sink here. You've got some storage space dotted around the cabin. So you've got some at the sides of the bed and you've also got some small spaces here as well. And if you need some extra space to get dressed or to get ready, you just have to drop down on top of the toilet and this turns into a seat and you're not in the way of anybody. So there you have it, a beautiful boat, the latest in Nordic design, space, comfort and loads of customization on offer. We're really proud of our latest product and you only have to wait until spring for the 27 open and T-top version to be available at Quarken dealerships in Europe and in Florida. To check the dealership closest to you, head to our website at quarken.com. The story of Quarken is already a classic, but we're just getting started. And no doubt you'll hear from us very soon with another new launch. For now, from all of us here at Quarken, thanks very much for joining us on our journey.